All right, so I'm going to do kind of a little Friday diary on this thing. Uh, this is not where I wanted things to be, not quite where I expected it to be. However, it's been an adventure getting here. As you can see, there are in fact zombies. There are in fact explosions of both zombies and humans. You know, they just explode and propagate that way, which is a fantastic way of spreading them out uh, for my purposes right now. Uh, each of these little guys, both the zombies and the humans, are a neural net, and it is actively learning. The goal of the humans is to uh, not to touch the walls, not get touched by zombies, because a zombie will instantly kill it. And the, the goal for the zombies is to essentially touch humans. And they do a very good job of that by just standing still, uh, because the humans are running around uh, because the only way they can get points is by moving and they haven't gotten to the point where they can avoid zombies yet you know so they just walk into them they do not yet know the meaning of fear um, So, you know, it's chaos. Chaos has, in fact, ensued. It's not quite the chaos that I wanted, but I do appreciate the chaos in the form that it has taken. What other cool things? So I've separated... The, I, I can make any of these little shrines, and they will spit out both zombies and humans. I think from here, what I'm going to do is... While the humans and zombies are figuring themselves out, did I? Did you just stop for me? I think he did. That completely derailed my train of thought. Uh, human totems, you know, put totems somewhere that humans will spawn that isn't necessarily the exact same place as the zombies. Because what often happens is during the uh, population explosion. Um, humans will get flung into zombies and they'll just get immediately eaten uh, and those zombies will then get a huge point boost uh, for just standing there and eating flying humans this is such a bizarre such a bizarre contraption i've created i was hoping to have more done in a polished sense, you know. I want zombies to be able to tackle humans, and what I have is vibrating uh, flesh monsters. They've created a kind of wall. That's kind of cool. Just a net to catch uh, to catch humans. I wonder if that's intentional. Probably not. Um, coincidence plays a strong role. So, some of the challenges that I've faced in trying to get to this point is uh, navigating code that I don't fully understand. Um, I purchased the neural net in a package form and it gives me certain things. I've had to change a lot. Um, the neural net was constructed in a way to uh, teach a little a little brick car to navigate through a maze without touching the walls. Um, I've given these guys the ability to see more than the car was able to. The, this is sort of a diagram of it's not even a diagram. It's just what the uh, zombies and humans actually see all of these uh gray bars are a line of sight are a line of vision that come from one entity there each entity has nine uh viewpoints and those viewpoints tell the entity how far away something is in a set direction and the second part of that little ray is Telling the entity what it is that it's looking at. Is it looking at it's kind of like default terrain? Does it see a villager or does it see a zombie? 
right here with this red, what this is telling the zombie is, hey, you're losing points by being too close to this thing. I'm trying to train, use uh, kind of a bumper car situation to get them to not walk into objects. It's not working, clearly. There's a lot of little red buttons. But neural nets do take some time to cook and they require a tremendous amount of patience. Fortunately, I think they're really fun to watch. Mesmerizing, in fact. Little human and zombie explosions all over the place. It needs refinement, but you know, for a week's worth of work, I don't think it's bad. And, you know, the last time I made a video, I was walking through this empty kingdom and I hadn't made a single change to it. Now I have bobs that run around and feed themselves to zombies. Anyways, I don't really feel like going into too much more of it. It's late. Uh, I just wanted to get this out of the world. So I hope you guys have a great day.